financial planning should not be a cookie cutter approach. So check out this week's Money Minutes. Courtney and Ryan here with your weekly Money Minutes. And this week we really want to talk to you guys about your financial planning. We've been talking a lot about your savings and making sure that you have a budget. And then once you have your budget, what you're doing with that money. Yes. But what I need to do with my investments is probably not the same as what you need to do with your investments. Yeah, the one thing about having a financial plan, getting your budget in place, getting your investment plan in place is it can't be cookie cutter. And I gotta say, Court, people, financial planners, people in our industry, they love to give you a one size fits all approach, a cookie cuttered approach. And the reality of it is you have different you have a different budget than I do. You're saving mm -hmm. for different things. Like maybe you have vacations that you want to save for, or college educations you want to fund. It's gonna be very different from one to the next. And our industry is just not very good at helping you out with that. Exactly. Yeah. So you need to make sure you're working with somebody who knows what your goals are and year by year you're keeping on track with those to make sure you are on track to meet them and is there anything you need to change accordingly? Yes, exactly. And that's why it's so important to get a unique, not a one size fits all approach financial plan. So if you want to get started, get a budget in place, simply click on the link above or below. We have a tutorial breakdown on how to build a budget, really useful. And if you want to get more of our timely, insightful, enthralling weekly commentary, you can subscribe to moneyminutes.com. Click on the link above or below again. And as always, be, be bullish. bullish.